Good morning, everyone. This is Tar Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved Volgaro map. This is day 441 of my little adventure here, and well, I've got a Argentavis egg here just about to hatch. Didn't come out very good, don't look like. This one should have been about a 280 something because it's got four mutations on it. But it doesn't look like it's got any of the mutations at all on it. Maybe the melee damage one only. But this is not going to be a good one, I don't think. And I've got a Spinosaur. He's already hatched. Wow. So you probably didn't get what you were supposed to get either. Let me check real quick on the Spinosaur here. Oh, they must be a twin. Or that. Yep, got twins on the Spinosaurs. Out 252. And let's see what they got. For some reason, they did not get the health or the stamina or the oxygen. Well, you guys just didn't come out good either. They got the stamina, the weight, and the melee damage. Do I need these guys for anything? Stamina, weight, and melee damage. Torches put out. Stamina weight and melee damage on these two guys. If I can get them up here. I probably can use the female one anyway. You are a female, right? I can breed you back in with that one up there on the hill. And maybe get the stats I want. Where's the other guy at? Get on up here. Okay, good enough. Good spot for you. 252. We've got... We've got uh, stamina, weight, and damage on them. This one is a male, so it's going to be pretty useless for me. Let the female I can breed back in with that line up there on the hill. It'll be pretty good. Let's see real quick how long these like being ready to go again. hours on that stew yet. They've still got meat on them. Rearranging their inventory real quick here. So I don't have to worry about them so much. They're out of range of my feed troughs. Restack the meat on them, it'll last a lot longer. And I need to 
pick up this Spinosaur egg, I guess. And go check on that Argentavis and see how long this guy likes for needing to imprint 49 minutes. I like the color on these guys, but they really ain't got the stats that I need. And I've got a baby Argentavis somewhere. Where did it go? Lost a baby Argentavis. I left it right here. I thought to have not put it on. There it is. It's up under something here. Right there you are. You need to quit wandering around. You are a 271. You're really not good. But anyway, got that done for now. Let's check the feeding trough. Let's thrust this meat in here. I'm like to make a meat run, I think, because I am getting pretty low. And I've got to put this spinous rig up, and then I'm going to swap out a few more chibis. So I can empty my inventory a little bit. I can figure out where I need to stop it at is the question. Yeah, let's go do this real quick. Pet the Lystro. Got lots of stuff to do. And I probably shouldn't even be recording today, but I'm trying to get back caught up on my videos. And I'm doing busy stuff around the base, that's why I shouldn't be recording, because people don't really care much about you doing this stuff. But maybe I'll get a good cheapie here and make it interesting. Let's see how it goes. Nope, my most chops ain't good. And what is that? That's a megalania. Give me a good one here. Give me one of the new ones. The only new one I've got so far is the heart. The is a little shell creature under the Namanite. The only new one I've got is a Namanite. If that's how you say that word, I'm not sure it even is. That is a Quetzal. That is a good one. But I've already got Quetzals, so. though. Quetzals seem to be quite hard to get. What is this? Oh, that is a new one, a manta. Cool, I got a manta. I'll check that out here in a minute and see what it looks like. Another basculus? Yep, another basculus. beaver. I guess that's all I'm going to do on these guys right now. Let's see what the manta looks like. I've never seen the manta. Where is that? Right there it is. God, I can't see it. like it is really hard to see. I think I'm going to 
have to get out and make a meat run though today. Hell, I thought I was re equipping Flappy, but that ain't him. Let's throw a couple of these in chest and get out and do something today. We've got to go get some meat or something. all these up because I'm through doing this for now. I'll do some more of this later. Do it off camera because it's going to take forever to empty all these chests out. So I'm going to carry up as much hide as I can carry. Probably should have took a spino. How much can the spinos carry? I think they're only like 600 weight, so it ain't much better. That is not better at all. Let's see, this guy can carry 552 pounds of stuff. Let's go get as much as we can get. Check on our dinos down here, make sure they've got food. And look and see if any of those pearls have respawned. I'm sure it's going to be just like metal and stuff for me. It's going to take a long time to get them to respawn. I'll probably just have to find some in a different spot. Scour in the bottom while I'm swimming over there to see if I can spot any more. And looking out for jellyfish also. There's that big gob of eggs up in the sky. They're still there. I did manage to get a few of those and found out they were Deinonychus eggs. That isn't pearls, is it? Just a shiny spot on the bottom. Oh, I'm burning up. I'm in the water. You'd think I would not be burning up in the water. Guess if I get down in a little bit, I'm not burning up. What is that? It's making a glowy looking area under me when I go over it. That Bronto stomping around is making me think of he's a Giga nearby. But I've never seen a Giga on my map, so I don't know. I probably should have brought the Spino. It's much faster. I won't be doing this again. Baryonyx is just too slow. Yeah. 
there's those jellyfish right there is a pearl right underneath me one it's not worth bringing the angler fish away for no Baryonyx is much slower than the Spinosaur, that's for sure. I could have already been over here on him. Probably on my way back by now. I just kind of thought the barium was more maneuverable. I would, it didn't occur to me how much slower it actually is. And now it's about out of stamp, so I might hit the stamp in the back real quick. I'm just going to go down to my aberration base and get as much hide as I can carry to bring back up. down in there and grab us a bunch of hide and get back out. We do need to check our feeding troughs so because we still got most of our animals down there. Most of our aberrant animals. Ah. Can't really run down this area very good because he takes very huge jumps when he runs off these edges. Wasn't planning on coming back down here this early, but like I said, I do need to. I'm burning up. Need a, need all the hide I can get, and I did leave quite a bit down here. Those spino saddles I'm making, I've said it before, they take over 5,000 hide apiece. I've got the loading spike from getting down in here, looks like. Yep. Let's hope it quits here in a minute and doesn't freeze up the game. There we go. Baryonyx has a level up. I'm tempted to put some level in the weight, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to use this guy as a pack mule. I want to put it into melee damage. Pretty good melee, so he's really good at fishing. I need to set me up a little shack over by the green obelisk pretty soon so I can start transferring all my artifacts over there. You know what I should have brought? I should have brought my otter with me, and I could have brought some of these artifacts up. I can bring one with me. If I'd have brought my otter, I could have brought most of them with me. It can carry about 50 pounds, and I think artifacts are 5 pounds each, so he could have carried about 10 of them. And I could have carried one, and I think I've only got 12 down here, so we could have almost carry all of them. But that ain't going to happen. We're just running down here to get a hide now. We might bring one artifact back with us. my spinos loading in and whatever we do we need to make sure we check that feeding trough we want to starve, starve out our light pets or nothing or our carcanos we've got a carcanos too see how far this has went down since I've been gone it doesn't look too bad Let's try to restack it. Yeah, that ain't too bad. Figured it would have went down a lot more than that. 
Pet Jerry here. Now, where have we got all our hide at? We've got a bunch of hiding dinosaurs. We've got fiber in that one. I guess we could take the fiber and throw these mushrooms away. So we do need a ton of fiber also. This parasaur has got a bunch of hide on it. Need as much as I can carry. Fiber and hide isn't too heavy. Don't probably won't be able to carry too terribly much though. This is probably enough to make a little over one satellite out, so I need that. That is not good. I'm going to take two stacks of mushrooms too, because I am going to make a mind wipe tonic. When I get ready to do all that stuff, all you guys in the fringe of the feeding trough, Triceratops, you got a little bit of fiber, you got a bunch of angler gel. Don't know what I'm ever going to do with all that stuff. Let's see, how much more can I carry? Baryonyx, can you carry me right now? I would have liked to have got a lot more than this. You are kind of heavy, aren't you? I'm going to grab an artifact. Let's see, I've surely got an artifact. Then one of these boxes is full of them. Right there. Should I take my Carcanose Claws up with me? I don't know. i got Alpha Carcanose Claws down here. I'm going to take them. They might be important to a... to a... ingredient for a boss battle or something. There's a little bit more hide. And I know one of my Spinosaurs out here is loaded down too. I think I'm about to where all I can carry right now. This one's got a bunch of fiber. Let's get a little bit of the fiber. And a ton of mushrooms. One of you guys has got a bunch of hide dungeons. Oh no. Is this all the hide I've got down here? This could be bad if this is all I've got. I really thought I would have had a lot more. Did I put any on any of you guys? I don't think I did. Yep, I think that's all I've got down here. That's not good at all. Unless I put some in a chest. How's my spark powder holding out? Pretty good. Got fiber in that chest. I actually don't think I have any hide in any chest. I'm just going to do a bunch of hunting, I guess. There's a little bit of hide. Let's see if we can carry that. I don't know if we can even carry it or not. We're about to get maxed out here. But I think that's probably all the hide we've got down here. Sure looks like it. That's it. Let's get up to the surface if the Baryonyx can carry me. I've got a pretty good stack of hide, but not near what I thought I had down here. Might be enough here for two saddles. Two Spinosaurus saddles worth of hide. So I guess it wasn't no big deal to bring a, anything that could carry more down here since I didn't have that much. have to figure out which one of my animals harvests to hide the best and take it out hunting. It's probably going to be a T-Rex or something. I just don't know where a good hunting spot will be at. Let's go Baryonyx. I know this is quite a load on you.
looks like a feeding trough full of food will last a whole lot longer than I thought it would. So I can probably only come down here about once every 10 days or something, 10 or 12 days. Be fine, keep the animals fed. I probably should just cryo pot them all up and move out here completely. But I really don't think I've got enough cryo pots for that. Got quite a few animals down here. Getting the loading spike again, getting back close to the surface. Game's gonna act like it's gonna freeze here in a minute. Just hope it doesn't freeze. on the surface that needs imprinting, but I think it's probably got a little bit of time still yet. And here I am, my cooking again, and the lag spike has just completely froze the game up. Whoa. Stuck on a rock. Let's go, Spino. Or not Spino, but Baryonyx. Track, what are you doing down here? You shouldn't be down in this place. fish meat. That was only 14 for that one, so that one must have been a whole lot bigger. Are there pearls down here anywhere? Ain't seeing none. I'm thinking about going out here and checking on this supply drop. Depends on what's in the water through here. Anything dangerous? Yep, junk. Okay, which way do we want to go here? I'd like to make a beeline, but I know there's jellyfish through there. Let's do it anyway. Be careful and avoid them. Be careful and look out for jellyfish. And see if there's any pearls on the bottom. Oh, those are close. I've got to hit the surface real quick here. spot, but they don't seem to be none over this way. So pearls might be harder to find than I'm thinking. Back to the surface. Oxygen is getting low. Is that big mass of eggs growing or is it still about the same up there? out the water here and take a look real quick. If it wasn't so difficult to line your wyvern up, I would get a bunch of those. Where is my... Okay, where are they at? I cannot use the scope, especially with this grass behind me like this. There they are. I did see a Dionychus way, or a Dimorphodon way up in the sky above them, but I can't see it from here. So I'm thinking it's out of render range. There's still quite a few eggs over there, though. I don't know why Dimorphodon would be dropping Dionychus eggs. That doesn't make no sense. 
it doesn't make no sense that Dinonicus can drop raptor eggs either, though. There's a supply drop on my on my base island. Let's get on over there, Baryonyx. Swim faster. Definitely are not as fast as a Spinosaur. We're gonna do some underwater stuff pretty soon, I guess. Still got another another cave to run to get the rest of the artifacts. It's awful shiny looking down there, ain't it? Thinking maybe some pearls, but I don't see any. I can actually stay down quite a bit without air tanks. A lot longer than you would think. But air tanks would be a lot better. Distribute this hide around to everybody that needs it. And see how much hide we still need. More junk. We ain't getting nothing good out of supply drops in a long time. Well, I take that back. We did get those boots the other day. That wasn't too bad. We got some 285 boots, I think it was. Fish meat. I'm gonna give a little bit to my otter out of here. It is 1800 hours again. Otter, where you at? I should have took you with me. I had this. I had these artifacts down there and I could have picked them up if I'd had you with me. And let's see, do I have room in my artifact chest to put this artifact? Toss something else. Let's toss another one of these torch skins. Put that artifact in there, and then I've got these alpha carcanos claws. Where am I going to put the alpha carcanos claws at? I don't know. So I'll put them in this chest next to this one. Got extra mushrooms because I'm going to make some mind wipe tonics sometime soon. That's probably the heaviest thing I brought up was these mushrooms. Where am I keeping the mushrooms at? Not in this chest, apparently. Yep, yeah, right there. Yep, I think I'm probably going to end this video off here a little bit early because all I'm going to do is start putting up hide and stuff in the chest. Let's see, what have we got here? Where's that baby Argentavis at? Another Argentavis egg. Get that. See how the babies are done. You are juvenile now, so you should be eating out of the feeding trough. Or the Spino's Juvenile. Yep, you are. Oh, I hope that ain't what I'm thinking it is. You ain't grown up already, have you? It's carrying 21 minutes. I haven't missed an imprint, have I? I don't think I have. Yep, I guess I'm going to ahead and end it off here. I'm all I'm going to do is put up hide and fiber and try to see how much I need to make those saddles and take care of this baby Uteranus. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Tyler Creek Rock and my battle Uties signing out. <laughs>